Hello everyone, welcome back to this Siemens i7-1500 PLC and the Cinemics S120 Server Drive series video. And in this video, I will discuss the number 4 topic. And especially, I will use two sub-videos. The first sub-topic, how can we set up the perfect night communication between the i7-1500 PLC and S120 Drive. The hardware perfect net communication between the PLC and S120 server drive that is the fundamental for further configuration. That's why I like to use this sub video specially discuss the hardware configuration to set up the perfect net connection. And from the number two and the number three topic, I discussed how can we use the TI Portal Start Drive version 17 to config the Cinemix S120 server drive and how can we tune the S120 server drive. And based on those two steps, we finish the basic configuration for the server drive. And then we can shift the gear and set up the PLC configuration and set up the perfect net communication between the PLC and server drive. And if we do a quickly review from the previous two videos, I set up this TI portal start drive this project. And the next step, we can set up the PLC. For example, in this case, I'm going to use i7-1500 PLC as a controller. Basically, we could have two ways after this step. The first way, we can, based on this current existing project, and we can add the PLC station based on the server drive station under this project. And the second way, this is my preferred way. So we can set up a new project in that project, we can set up i7-1500 PLC. And the second method, we will assume we will use another laptop, another TI portal system. And we will create a new TI portal project, create the PLC station at first. And then we will add the server drive after the server drive offline station set up. And then we will upload all the configuration from the online connected CU S120 server drive, upload to the new created TI portal project. The second method, that is my preferred way, because most of the cases, especially for the bigger project, usually for the PLC programming and the drive commissioning, the project will have two main programmer. So using this way, the drive programmer can mainly focus on the drive at first. And then after the PLC programmer get that ready, so he can create the PLC project after, and then upload all the existing configuration from the drive side, and upload all the configuration to the final PLC and the server drive project after. So this is my preferred way. That's why in this video, I like mainly show this way. Okay, before we start to config the PLC, project and the station. We firstly need to go online and double check with the current firmware version, the server drive S120CU. From the offline, we can check here, firmware reversion, or we can go online. Double click this online and the diagnostics. And here we can see its current firmware version from the CU, that is version 5.2. If you accidentally select the wrong firmware version. When you do the upload, we will see this error code. This error, an upload is not possible due to the incompatible configuration. Okay, so we know my current firmware version, that is a 5.2. All right, now let me set up a new project and I will set up the PLC station at first. I will set up i7-1500 PLC and then I will add the server drive station. Time being, I will ignore those initial setup. I will directly show after we create the PLC station what we should do next. And my CPU, that is a 1512 SP. And this is also a safety controller. So I can use another video to show how can we set up the safety control. For example, SS1, safety stop. Okay, and based on this PLC project, and then we can drag from this hardware catalog, drag the S120. Okay, from the right side, we can search S120. And then from this Cinemics drives, we can find this uh, control CU, this control unit. Okay, we select this version 5.2, CU 320-2. Double click. This double port is showing the screen that is the perfect night port. 
and this is a commissioning port. Okay, commissioning port. This is a 169.254. This IP address. Make sure we are not selecting this. We need to select the Perfinite port. So here, my Perfinite port, I will config. This IP address is 192.168.1.12. Okay, and then we can right click off this CU, and then we can click this upload from device. Then we can upload all the configuration from your actual hardware. Go to this offline configuration. Click this search. Okay, so I found my drive. Click this online. Upload. Upload from device. Okay, as we can see, the software upload all the hardware configuration. That Telegram, there's a free Telegram. I will temporarily use all the default setting here. Because in this video, our main aim is going to set up the Perfinite communication. We will assign the Perfinite device name. To set up the Perfinite connection and uh, assign the device name, let's shift to the network view. Click this small i, we can see the IP address. My CPU IP address is 1.110, and this drive, that's 1.12. Click this port, Perfinite port, drag to the CPU PLC controller, and then we can set up this connection. And uh, as we can see, this Perfinite device name, that's the same name as this station name. And if we expand, just to double check all the hardware configuration. So we can see this red drive click and the blue access. We uploaded all those hardware configuration. And now let's compile and let's firstly download the PLC hardware configuration. Let's download this 1512 SP. Okay, CPU will stop. Basically, we let the PLC know, okay, you have one device that is a S120 server drive as your slave. Okay, and uh, let's download this drive station. Okay, and we can see this device name temporarily named the drive unit underscore one. Okay, temporarily, I will uncheck this selection, copy RAM to ROM, make this configuration download faster. Eventually, after we configure everything, we can check. Select this selection, copy RAM to ROM. All right, after we config and download the hardware configuration for the CPU and the Cinemix S120, let's assign the device name. The device name, that's the essential name, allows the controller, the CPU, find out the remote device. And let's select this Perfinite device name, make sure we we'll assign the device unit underscore one. Okay, after we click this, only show device of the same type and then let's click this assign name then we will assign the drive unit underscore one to the online device so from the mac address and the ip address we can double check if this device is a target we are going to assign and after you assign successfully we will see this status shows okay okay we assign successfully for this perfect device name and this device name, that's the key connection between the Perfinite controller and the Perfinite device. In this case, the Perfinite controller, that's the PLC, and Perfinite device, this is this Cinemix S120 server drive. So it's a device name, it's a device underscore unit underscore one. And currently we are using the RT communication, the standard RT communication. We only set up the hardware configuration first. And in next video, I will set up the IRT communication and we will set up the TO technology object. The Perfinet RT connection that basically cover most of the cases of the Perfinet communication. But for the server drive, for the motion control, we need to select the IRT. I will show this IRT configuration in the next video. After we assign the Perfinet device name, the controller and the Cinemix S120, they should communicate already. So let's verify, let's go online. As we can see, everywhere shows screen. That means this controller find out this server drive. As we can see now, everywhere shows screen. 
the perfect net communication we set up successfully. Set up this perfect net communication is very essential step. And in next step, we will set up the TO. From this technology object here, we will select the motion control and uh, select this TO positioning axis. Uh, using the TO, we can set up the motion control connection between the PLC and server drive. Here, I like to explain. For the Siemens standard PLC, for example, i7-1200 or i7-1500 standard PLC, all those PLC can do the single access positioning control. So in next video, I will discuss how can we set up this TO and we can set up the drive, servo, motor, and the encoder setting. And we can use this TO to control the servo motor to have a forward or backward initial commissioning test and use this commissioning function panel and we can active the server drive and we can click the forward or backward and we can control the server motor. All right, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.